general terms used for spherical mirrors what are the general terms see these are the different terms related to spherical mirrors first spherical mirrors these spherical mirrors are divided into two types one is concave mirror and another one is convex mirror okay next what are the important terms related to spherical mirrors one is pole center of curvature principal axis linear aperture principal focus focal length radius of curvature these are the important terms related to spherical mirrors next let us discuss about them what is spherical mirror see, see if you consider a halo sphere this is a halo sphere okay from this halo sphere we can extract spherical mirrors see a mirror which is made from this a mirror which is made from a part of halo sphere is called spherical mirror see this is the coated surface and this is the reflecting surface this is opaque surface and this is reflecting surface and if you coat it inwards it is reflecting surface okay here it is reflecting surface here it is reflecting surface okay this is one part of the halo sphere and this is one part of the halo sphere so these two are spherical mirrors okay this is having reflecting surface inwards this is having reflecting surface outwards okay these are called spherical mirrors these mirrors made from a part of a halo sphere this is one spherical mirror and this is another spherical mirror so what are the names of these spherical mirrors these parts this is having coated surface outwards and the reflecting surface inwards this type of mirror is called concave mirror this is called concave mirror and if the reflecting surface is outwards that means it is reflecting surface is at so here the reflecting surface is towards its bulging side here in concave mirror the reflecting surface is towards its halo side here the reflecting surface is towards its bulging side so the reflecting surface is towards the bulging side and the coated surface is inwards this type of mirror is called convex mirror okay for concave mirror reflecting surface is inwards and for convex mirror reflecting surface is outwards these are the two different types of mirrors next what are the important terms related to these mirrors the midpoint of a spherical mirror is called pole this is pole the midpoint of spherical mirror the midpoint of a convex concave mirror and the midpoint of convex mirror this is also pole okay what is the pole the midpoint of spherical mirrors is called pole it is denoted by p the letter p next center of curvature what is center of curvature here the center of the sphere this is a sphere it is a center of the sphere of which the spherical mirror is a part is called center of curvature that means this is the center of the halo sphere so the center of the halo sphere becomes the center of curvature of these two spherical mirrors okay this is denoted by capital c next principal axis observe this is an imaginary line passes through the pole of spherical mirrors and center of curvature It is called principal axis next linear aperture the diameter of a spherical mirror is called linear aperture it is denoted by ab this is the diameter of a spherical mirror this is also a diameter of a spherical mirror this is called aperture what is aperture here the diameter of spherical mirror is called aperture it is denoted by ab here it is denoted by ab here also ab it is denoted by 
AB. Next, what is important then? Principal focus. It is a point on principal axis. Observe here. This is a beam of light incident on concave mirror. After reflection, it meets here. Okay. So, these are the parallel rays traveling parallel to the principal axis and after reflection, these two are met this point on principal axis. This point is called principal focus. Here also, in the case of convex mirror also, if a ray of light incident on mirror and this is another parallel ray incident on mirror, after reflection, see, these two are travel like this. These two rays are appears to coming from, that means diverging from a single point. This point is called principal focus of convex mirror. Okay. What is the principal focus here? It is a point on the principal axis where a beam of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection either actually meets or appears to meet is is called principal focus here f is called principal focus it is denoted by capital letter f next focal length focal length what is the focal length here the linear distance this is a linear distance between pole and principal focus is called here the green line indicates the distance between pole and principal focus is called focal length this is called focal length the green line indicates the focal length of the spherical mirror next the distance between pole and center of curvature is called radius of curvature it is denoted by capital R the distance is denoted by capital R. If the focal length F is denoted by, the focal length is denoted by small f. Okay, this is denoted by small f. And the radius of the curvature is denoted by capital R. Okay, these are the important terms related to spherical mirrors. What are the important terms? This is a concave mirror. This is a convex mirror. For this, the center of the mirror is called pole. And the center of this halo sphere that may that is called radius of the curvature of the spherical mirrors. Next, the reflecting rays are met on principal axis. Some point. This point is called principal focus. And the imaginary line traveling through the pole and center of the curvature is called principal axis. Next, the distance between pole and principal focus is called focal length. It is generated by small f and the distance between pole and center of curvature is called radius of curvature. Okay. These are the important terms related to mirrors.